Hey guys, happy Friday. I am going to record everything I eat the next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, since I have all of those days off. I'm just gonna do all that in one video. You'll see it on Tuesday. Um, that way it can help me keep accountable because these long weekends, sometimes it's a little bit tough. I did go out to lunch today with a coworker and I made a very good choice. I did a Cobb salad. A Cobb salad is a great choice if you're doing low carb or keto. Um, let me tell you what mine had on it. I don't like to have my phone, you know, when I go out with friends and stuff, I don't like to have my phone out. So I didn't take a picture, but let me tell you, it was like a bed of greens with blue cheese, like blue cheese crumbles, um, grilled chicken, tomatoes, olives. I forgot to say no olives. I don't like black olives. Um, tomatoes, I think I said tomatoes, um, avocado and that was it, right? Yes. And then I had blue cheese dressing on the side amazing it was so good it just was exactly what i wanted it was filling i forget how much i love cob salads definitely am going to start like making those because it was it was just so good um so that was my lunch and i haven't had anything else it's three o'clock right after lunch i will i spent the morning cleaning i did my floors and i did some laundry now all the laundry is washed i just have to dry it and put away but i mopped all my floors in here um my bathroom is a disaster because it's still only halfway done with the tile. Uh, went to Costco after lunch. I was gonna go to grocery outlet, but honestly, like I just wanted to get home. My knee is hurting really bad because I have been doing so much on it. So I just wanted to kind of rest up. I said I didn't wanna go to grocery outlet. So I went to Costco. Oh my goodness, y'all. It was so busy. <laughs> this is probably to go the Friday of Memorial Day weekend was probably not the smartest thing. But surprisingly, I mean, I am always really impressed with Costco, how fast they get you out of there. It is amazing. I got some really good finds. I did not find my outer aisle cauliflower thins. I was so bummed, so bummed. But they did have the healthy noodles, so I picked those up. Um, they had my favorite pickles, so I picked those up. It was kind of my um, laundry, like my, what do I call it? Like my cleaning rotation. Um, I usually have like where I get all my cleaning stuff and then I know like about two or three weeks I'll have to go get my toiletry stuff. So like toilet paper, paper towels, trash bags, those kind of things. But this time was all cleaning stuff. So laundry soap, dishwasher soap, regular cleaners around the house, those kind of things. I picked up a shirt, but you'll see all of that tomorrow actually no you will not <laughs> you will see that actually before this video because this video will be going up tuesday the grocery haul is going up on sunday um i'll have two grocery hauls this week so anyway um i'm just sitting here watching a lifetime movie and um drinking an energy drink i am getting ready to uh, as, as i'm watching this i'm going to go ahead and go through my list of videos that I am planning out. I'm getting really excited again about filming because I am doing things that are different. So I have that going on. I have to I have my Stitch Fix video. You'll see that by the time you see this video. So I am getting back in my routine, y'all. Back in my routine, I'm so excited. Um, when I stepped on the scale this morning, I was still two pounds up than where I was last week. No idea why besides maybe just stress, a lot of activity this week. Um, not enough water because I had so many meetings and now that meetings are in person It's like I have my water, but then the bathroom. It's just like it's crazy You can't even get into the bathroom now at work because everybody's there and it's like every time I go this occupied We only have two bathrooms for our entire building. Oh my it's just the whole thing So I have not been drinking enough water. I know I haven't been so part of it's probably that and just being on my feet a lot um, I have no idea. I have no idea. It just could be hormonal who knows but Anyway, I'm fine with it because I know I had a fantastic week as far as food. I'm starting to feel, like I said, starting to get back into a routine. I'm feeling so good. So, anywho, that's that. We're not doing anything this weekend. We may go out to dinner tonight. My husband started his new job today. It's just orientation today and probably Tuesday. We don't. I don't know yet since I haven't seen him yet today. Um, well, I was at lunch when he came home here for lunch. So, I think more than likely he'll probably have monday off and so i probably will not see him um more than likely he'll have monday off and then he'll go back to work on tuesday i think there's like two days of orientation before he starts his regular schedule which will be nights so he'll be working um 6 p.m to 4 a.m 
but he'll have three days off a week. So that's encouraging that we'll be able to see each other. Um, I'll see him at lunchtime. When I come home, I'll see him when he gets home from work and I'll be getting ready in the morning. I'll see him before he leaves for work because I get home at 4.30 and he, or I get off at 4.30 and he won't be leaving until he has to be there at six. So we'll have, you know, it's just gonna be a little bit different getting used to the routine but I'll just use that time to edit and film and things like that. Then I don't have to do it in the morning and I can visit with him. So I just have to flip flop, you know, my routine around. Um, he'll have to work an occasional Saturday, they said, but for the most part, he'll have weekends off. So we'll have weekends. And now that I'll be having Fridays off at least through June and July, and hopefully one of his days off is Friday, then we'll have that day. Um, we're just going to make a commitment to like go out to dinner still once a week just the two of us because that way you know since we're not seeing each other so whatever day he has off during the week one of one of the three days he has off we'll go out to dinner and that'll just be like you know our date night um so we'll make it work um, i'm not too worried about it anymore i was you know kind of bummed in the beginning but getting used to the idea so anywho um i will pop in whatever i have to eat if we do out to dinner it'll probably be mexican and it'll be fajitas so um i probably won't have a picture of it but i will let you guys know what i end up having or maybe we may just stay in tonight i don't know we'll just see how he feels he didn't sleep that well last night so we'll just we'll see how it all goes but anywho okay i will check in with you the next time i have a food or drink one of my projects this weekend is going to be to get this organized when i first moved in i had it nice and beautiful and organized <laughs> So I had to buy some more jars because I have outgrew all the jars that I have. There's even more back there, y'all. I mean, there's so many spices. So I did buy some more jars. They didn't have, they were out of the ones with the black like I bought before. So I did buy ones they have silver. I'm not too worried about it. The size is about the same and they may be just a little bit longer. That's okay because I do have room in here. They came with labels, but I saw these labels. They were only like $8 or something. They had like some kind of like 10% off of like something else or 15% off. I love these labels. I just think they're easy to read. They're clean. They're, I just love them. So I'm hoping they fit on these jars okay. Um, it looks like they're about half. Yeah, they're just like, like that. Um, but some of the, the video I'm gonna be filming for you guys, the blending video, um, the one of them's a barbecue seasoning so i'm really excited about that because it has the barbecue rub on there um but anyway yeah so now you have seen my thrive market haul by now and you'll see all the spices i picked up so i'm really excited to get all this organized for dinner tonight i had a chicken burger that i cut up and added in a big salad with avocado parmesan cheese and slivered almonds topped with a white vinaigrette dressing Happy Saturday for lunch today. I made a couple of lettuce wraps with some ham, some avocado, some cheese, and then had some Quest chips on the side. So I ran into grocery outlet. I am getting ready to film today my um, seasoning blend video and I'm getting my seasoning drawer all together. And I was out of um, black peppercorn. So I came here to grocery outlet to grab those and I didn't find anything. I just got some, um, what did I get? I got a couple of energy drinks and I got a big thing of pepper and then I got some, you know, what are these called? Dryer sheets, but I found this. And this is an avocado mayo that does not have rosemary. I do not like any of the avocado mayos that have rosemary. I'm not a huge, huge fan of rosemary. Um, I can handle it sometimes, but I don't like it in the mayo. And this one from Sir Kensington, it's an avocado mayo. It has avocado oil, organic certified humane free range egg yolks, water distilled vinegar, salt, lime juice concentrate, citric acid, and lime oil. And that's it. So. Um, as far as carbs, it's zero net carbs, um, 11 fat, 100 calories. So I think it uses lime juice instead of the rosemary. Um, normally it's rosemary extract that's used for like preservative and this has lime juice in it. So I am excited to try this. I am actually, was just getting ready to open my mayo, like my best foods mayo, or I don't remember whatever I got. The stuff that's, you know, doesn't have all the good stuff in it. I was getting ready to open that. I was going to have to open that Sunday when we grill out burgers, but I will open up this one instead and I will let you guys know how it tastes compared to the other avocado mayos. I used to make my own, but honestly, I just don't have time for that at all. 
Um, you would have already seen what I had for lunch right before this. Dinner, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I'm gonna go home and film a couple of videos. So that is my plan for the rest of the day, filming and editing and just relaxing and enjoying the four day weekend. I got my spice drawer all done. Um, I don't put everything in alphabetic order. I put it in order of kind of how I use it and what I grab for the most. Um, I did have to tape the sides of the labels because they kept popping off because they weren't quite large enough to go around, but I think this turned out really, really good. I have this cabinet above, like right by my stove that I keep all my oils and, you know, like overflow spices. And I reorganized that so now I can get to my oils and they're mostly spice blends in here. And I love it. It turned out so so good. For dinner tonight, I am having um, some of that cauliflower rice I got at Costco, the fried cauliflower rice, along with the rotisserie chicken strips. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of soreo on top, and then also topping it off with some sesame oil because sesame oil is life. And this is what my finished dinner looked like. It is so good. It's definitely just as good as the homemade chicken fried rice that I make all the time. Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm making some of my no oat oatmeal. And in this, I am adding in two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, two tablespoons of coconut flour. We're putting all this in a dry saucepan, by the way. One to two tablespoons of chia seeds. I use usually use about one tablespoon of them because otherwise it just overpowers the entire like oatmeal. I use one tablespoon of this brown sugar alternative from Sucre and Gold and a dash of vanilla. And then I do a half of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and two tablespoons of heavy cream. And this is what it looks like. I topped it with some blueberries. You guys, this is so, so good. I will have the recipe down below. It is Sunday night and we are grilling, so I have some hot dogs and some burgers on the grill. Um, the family will have some baked beans and some potato salad, and then I am also making a big Caesar salad for us. Now, I had not had lunch today, so I was super hungry, but I did not eat everything here. I have two patties, two burgers, and a salad, but I only ate just one patty. To tackle this, but I just do not want to. I still have one more load to do, so I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to get this all folded and put away. I want to do a quick check in for Sunday. It has been an extremely busy day. You did not see lunch because I did not have lunch after I ate that no oat, that keto no oat meal. Um, I was full and then I would have been slammed all day. I went grocery shopping, I did that grocery haul video, edited it, got it ready to go up tomorrow morning. I filmed my spice blend video. I filmed a battle video and I got both of those edited. The spice blend you'll see next week, it's already ready scheduled to go up. And then I'm still editing the brownie battle video. I am filming this video and editing it. Um, I'm gonna be filming all throughout the entire week for a dinner video that will be going up sometime next week. I have just been slammed. We did a lot of work in our bathroom today so I will show you after I'm done chatting with you here I'll kind of show you what I've been up to today um, we grilled for dinner so you'll see that um, on my plate you saw two burgers and two hot dogs I only had one burger and two hot dogs and then some of the salad I was just stuffed I've been just run run running all day this is the first time I've sat down and it's probably like eight o'clock right now I'm exhausted I've had a long day but I've had a very 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 productive day I just feel so good I feel good filming again I feel good getting videos up and doing videos that I love um, you guys saw I got my spice drawer all organized and my like vinegar and oil drawer I kind of I mean cupboard I kind of call it that um, I got that all organized um, it's just been a, such a productive weekend. It feels so good. We still have one more day, so this video is going to have four days in it. Um, tomorrow, I plan on just getting the laundry done. It's going to be definitely more of a chill day tomorrow. I have one more video to film, and that's my May book review video, which I finished my last book yesterday. Um, so I'll be filming that tomorrow. And then getting laundry done, washing the sheets, and that should be it. It's going to be a chill day tomorrow because I have been on my feet all day today but it's just been productive. Hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day weekend and I will show you next all the things that I've been up to. I'll show you that after that and then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I did film my spice blend video so stay tuned for that. It will be up next week and I did some grocery shopping today so lots of grocery shopping. I actually did Safeway pickup and then had to go to Walmart for a couple of things. 
and I did my brownie battle video. So here's a little sneak peek on those different brownies. Yum, yum, yum. This was a lot of fun, by the way. And then we are doing a little home improvement in our bathroom. So we're putting tile down in a bathroom. We had the other bathroom done, but we have not done ours. So this had linoleum in it. And we are putting down the same tile that's in our other bathroom. I feel like we got a lot done this weekend. There's a lot of weird little cuts that we had to do. But I still feel like we got a lot of progress done because it's, it's a mess in my bathroom. But this is where we're at as of last night. So I'm not sure how much we're going to do today. But we still have a bunch of little cuts to do. And then the grout, of course. But we have to let this sit for a little bit um, before you can walk on it. So anyway, yeah, it's definitely we have made some progress this weekend. Okay, this is my very simplified version of the Starbucks passion fruit lemonade tea. So I just take some of this passion fruit tea. Now, if you can find the big bags, which are super, super hard to find, but if you can find them, it's a lot easier because you don't have to use so many little bags. Um, but that makes like a 32 ounce thing of it, the big bags do. Um, so that's what I would do. But anyway, that's not an option. So I'm gonna do a half of a pitcher um, using probably, I would say maybe four bags. Yeah, I'm gonna do four bags of the Tazo tea with the hot water, just like you'd make it normal. And then I'll put in a whole packet. These are those big, the big packets of the lemonade tea. I mean the lemonade from Crystal Light that makes the big, you know, I think it makes like 32 ounces as well. Anyway, you just use one of these whole packets. You put it in there while it's still hot and it dissolves really well. And then once it's cooled down, because I use a glass container, once it's cooled down, I fill it up with cold water. And then that's that. That is how I make the tea. So stay tuned, I will show you how to do that. I'm gonna make these jello whips that I saw on Pinterest. Never had it before. So you take some kind of jello, which this is the simply delicious jello jello that I get at the Thrive Market. It has really good ingredients. It's nothing like, you know, all that stuff you get in the ones in the store. As good of ingredients as you can get. <clears throat> so what you do is you make this, you like you put it in hot water, dissolve this in hot water, add in one cup of ice water, let that melt, take out the ice cubes. And then in the meantime, you are whipping this with some powdered sugar, which I have powdered sugar here somewhere. Of course, it's the powdered sugar-free sweetener. So I just take pure and I put it in my blender and grind it up until it turns into powdered sugar. So you take like a tablespoon of that with a cup of the heavy cream, whip it together until you get soft peaks. You're gonna make this the way I just said, and I'll show you here in a second. And then you're going to fold either this into this or this into this, I can't remember which one. And then you let it sit for two hours in the refrigerator and it looks like this whippy stuff. I don't know, it looks so good. I've never tried it before. We'll see how it turns out. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for 